Hi everyone, Adam from Corona Render Support Team and in this video we'll learn about Corona Converter. Here we have a scene which is completely V-Ray based and there are also other plugins being used in the scene and we will try to get Corona version of it using Corona Converter. The easiest way to open Corona Converter is using the toolbar and the Corona icon and there is also option with right click open Corona Converter. Now these are the default settings for the converter and most of the times you will want to keep them as they are. These are made as defaults to work the best in most of the cases. But as I know that there are also V-Ray proxies in the scene, I will check convert V-Ray proxies and also switch to Corona Render just for convenience. Now a very important point, you need to make sure that you have the render engine the scene was created in installed, V-Ray in this case, and also all the other plugins used in the scene installed for the version of 3ds Max you're using to successfully convert everything to Corona. And that should be it for settings and precautions and let's press convert. As the scene is pretty complex it will take some time to convert so please be patient. If you enable convert V-Ray proxies option, you will have a window for assigning the path for newly created proxies. Most of the times you want them to be at the same file path as the original, but you can also assign a new path. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep them at the same path. And if you haven't enabled this option, you can simply skip this part. That's it, the conversion is finished, you can see info about it, the bottom part is for the proxies, and if we go up, we will see some notes. The top part, state sets error, anchor couldn't be created, is some 3ds Max default error, so simply ignore it. There is a warning, the following materials were converted to Corona physical materials as metals, it is advised to check their correctness, and a list of materials. And a general note about conversion, while Corona Converter tries to preserve look and characteristics of the original materials as much as possible, in some cases there is no way to accurately map all the parameters of the original materials to native Corona materials, which may result in some visual differences. Therefore, it is advised to check the converted materials once the conversion is finished. Now, most of the times Corona Converter will take care of things just fine and you will only need to go and check for bad conversions only when you see such in the render. It is a bit trickier for metals, this is due to the fact that Corona physical material with its new features and new assets is the new standard and default conversion material for version 7 and on, and many things depend on the physical correctness and setup of the material, but even for materials which got converted as metals, Corona Converter will do a fine job most of the times and you will want to check them when you see them rendering wrong. Now let's close the windows and try rendering the scene. We can see the scene renders fine and there are some messages in errors and warnings. Let's have a look. One of them tells proxy has corrupted normals, this will be automatically fixed, which may result in unexpected rendering changes depending on proxy settings to fix this warning. Please convert the proxy to a 3ds Max mesh and then export the mesh to proxy again. We can see that the majority of the warnings are the same. As the error message tells, it will be fixed automatically. So unless you see some changes in proxy rendering which you don't like, there is no need to worry about this. If there are no proxies in the scene, you may absolutely ignore this part. And as proxies render fine in my case, I will simply ignore similar messages. We can see majority of warnings are gone now and there are only three errors and warnings left. It is a good idea to go for red icon messages first, which are the errors. And if we read it, this type of V-Ray light cannot be used with Corona yet. If we select the node and go to modify panel, we will see that it is a V-Ray light with dome type. V-Ray dome lights are used to create environment lighting and as Corona doesn't need them, we can simply delete it. We can clear the log and restart the render to see the updates of error messages. As we see the V-Ray light error is gone now. 
Speaking of V-Ray lights, we see that there are most probably V-Ray portal lights for exterior windows. We can see them rendering weirdly bright. So after selecting them and making sure that they are portal lights, we can simply delete them because since Corona Renderer 6, there are no more portals needed and they have been deprecated. After deleting the V-Ray portal lights, we see that the exterior window part is rendering as expected. Now for the remainder of warnings. A normal map appears to be using input image with incorrect gamma. This can cause shading artifacts. Luckily, there is a dedicated button in Corona Converter for such errors. If we open it, we can see a button with Fix Corona Normal Incorrect Gamma Warnings. We can clear the log, Stop the render, click Fix Corona Normal Incorrect Gamma Warnings, and restart the render. And awesome, there are no more errors or warnings. This is something we highly advise you to achieve for any scene, to have no errors or warnings. We can close this window and do some basic tone mapping, post processing to make sure that everything works as expected. Now a few words about converter options. The part which you will use the most will be the conversion options. All of the options are self-explanatory. We have option of converting everything, the materials, maps, lights, or scene materials and maps only, either lights only. And another option which will be probably the second most used one the materials of selected objects only. There will be cases when you will import some assets into the scene and you will want only the materials of those converted. In such cases, this option can come handy and it can also be useful when you don't want to convert the existing Corona materials in the scene. Most of them will be Corona legacy materials, formerly called Corona material, and maybe you would want to keep them as they are and convert only the materials of new objects. Please note again that Corona Physical Material is the new standard and default conversion material for Corona Renderer 7 and on. And the last option is Selected Material Editor slot only, which works only for Compact Material Editor and not for Slate Material Editor. And now about the most used buttons at the top right. In some cases, after the conversion, the maps and materials will not be visible in viewport and these buttons of selected objects map in viewport show height can help you to quickly show either all the maps of all objects in the scene, either only for selected objects. Keep in mind that this can be very slow as the tooltip also states so. So please use this with some caution. There is a button for disabling Corona Round Edges Map's legacy behavior. We've already talked about Corona Normal Incorrect Gamma Warnings. There is option for converting V-Ray Displacement Modifiers to Corona Displacement Modifiers. And buttons for converting bitmaps to Corona bitmaps and vice versa. And this should be it for Converter Tutorial. I hope you found this helpful and I hope that your future conversions will get just better with the help of this. See you all in the next one.